Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome to a brand new makeup transformation as you can tell by these sleeves. Today's makeup is of one of the most evil Disney villains, Jafar from the Disney movie Aladdin. Continuing on with my Disney villain makeup series. One of my all time favorite Disney movies is Aladdin and Jafar is in it. Today's gonna be a two parter makeup where we do just a straight up Jafar makeup with a prosthetic nose. And then we're gonna do a little twist of him slightly turning into the evil red genie when he tries to have so much power in the movie and it just consumes him. And that's one of his wishes granted by the genie in the movie Aladdin. So let's see if we can turn into Jafar. This should be cool. Now let's start the tutorial. First of all, we are putting a wig cap on to get all the hair out of the way. It's just easier, especially with a giant hat that we are going to put on later. I absolutely love this silk outfit. It honestly felt like I was in the Mortal Kombat movie, which is one of my all-time favorite movies as well. Or like that evil woman from Power Rangers. Does anybody remember her who had the creepy laugh? And now we're going to flatten down our eyebrows using a glue stick and some powder. You could use some eyebrow covers, but I'm not going to go to like an actual cosplay event. So glue sticks with some powder will do just fine as long as I'm not sweating a lot. To get this off, a lot of you have been asking, but you just use a baby wipe or a makeup remover wipe. Just let it settle on there to break down the glue. Again, you want to do about three to four layers of powder and glue on your eyebrows, depending on how thick your eyebrows are. And once you're done with that, we are going to put some tissue paper in our collar of our costume because Jafar's outfit has a white collar neck and I don't want to get any foundation or makeup on that. And now we're going to use a prosthetic adhesive. This is Prosaid. You could use Telesis if you have the money, girl. It's so expensive. But I'm just using Q-tips to apply this to my nose. It looks like we're sticking straight up Elmer's glue on our nose, like the peely hand thing you did when you were a child in elementary school is putting glue on your hand and let it peel off. Were you one of those weird kids like me? You want to be really careful to not get the seams bunched up. You do not have to use a prosthetic nose, of course. You could just do the makeup of this. But girl, I wanted to go all out. Getting some liquid latex with a tiny red stipple sponge to make sure the edges of this nose blend into your skin so it looks real and not like you pasted a fake nose onto your face. It looks like it belongs there, like you grew that nose and got it from your mama. Once that is dry, we are gonna get some Prosade with a, another red stipple sponge and stipple that all over the prosthetic. This is gonna be great for any makeup you're gonna put on the prosthetic to adhere to it, make it look like actual skin. And once that dries, this is optional, but I'm gonna get some orange corrector and put that on my eyebrows so that my dark brow hairs do not show through as much when I put on my foundation and concealers. We wanna make it look like he just shaved his eyebrows off or the genie lit a flame in front of his face and burned them off. Blending that out with a tiny baby booty blender. And now it's time to get our prosthetic paint. This is some PAX paint. Getting a disposable makeup sponge and applying that to the prosthetic nose. Again, you could totally skip this step and just go straight to foundation process if you don't want to put a prosthetic nose on your face. I found a color that matches my favorite CoverGirl 301 foundation. So I'll put both of those in the description down below. You want to make sure the prosthetic paint goes past the prosthetic just a little bit and getting a Q-tip to get in the corners and seams of it and in those little nostril holes. I shouldn't say little nostril holes because they are actually large. This nose is so big. Drying that with a hair dryer, which really helps with the prosthetics and powdering that all down. Now getting my favorite concealer and concealing them eyebrows. Again, you wanna make sure that it looks like the eyebrows aren't there to begin with and concealing under our eyes, those bags and dark circles. Now it is time to dip into our foundation. You don't want to totally cake on the foundation, but you do want a good thick layer right next to that prosthetic paint because the prosthetic paint is very opaque and has a lot of coverage. So you want a foundation that's buildable and do a little bit thicker near the nose and you can blend it out towards the outer parts of your face. Make sure you do not forget your ears and your neck as well with this foundation. I am also getting a deeper tone foundation color just to make sure it looks like I'm a little tanned and bronze since I'm living in the desert and putting that on the outer side of my face, on my cheekbones and my forehead and down my neck in certain areas that are the high points of my face. Now getting a very deep, deep contour color and contouring my cheekbones because Jafar has some amazing high rising cheekbones that are compatible with Maleficent. Blending that out and also doing contour where your baby hairs would be on the sides of your face because Jafar's face is a lot more narrower than mine is. 
putting some flesh tone concealer in a cream base on my eyebrows to make sure that they are totally disappeared and powdering my under eyes and my laugh lines areas that I usually crease on my makeup and face then powdering my entire face again with the same translucent powder I've been using getting that contour shade with a very tiny thin brush and contouring my laugh lines because Jafar has these evil giant laugh lines that help his evil smirk just appear on his face making some crow's feet on his eyes and some bags under his eyes you want him to be aged a little bit. He should look almost 50 to 60, which is very hard to do on a 20 something year old Asian mixed girl. So we're gonna hollow under the brow bone with the cream paint as well and put even darker contour colors on our cheeks and blending that out. You wanna make your face look as old and hollow as you can. So I'm gonna get this Morphe palette with this purpley brown tone matte shade and color in my eyes to darken around the contour of my eye socket, my eyelids and my bottom lash line to make it look like our eyes are like sunken in and hollow to make us look older and a little bit more somber, masculine and just creepy looking. Getting a natural tone blush and putting it on our cheeks a little bit on our nose and chin. Getting more of that cream paint in the contour color very lightly with a paintbrush and painting more bags under our eyes, making sure the detail on our inner corners of our eyes near the bridge of our nose are very defined. And contouring with some powders on the sides of our nose and the sides of our cheekbones as well. And a little bit on your forehead because again, we want our face to look more narrower and sunken in. Contouring also our chin. This is totally optional, but I'm getting alcohol paint. If you do not have alcohol paint, you can definitely use some cream paints very lightly with a orange stipple sponge and stippling on texture on our face. On the sides of our forehead, giving him some age spots and texture because after all, he must have really dry skin that's aged from living in the desert. I don't know if he's been using his sunblock, so I really wanna make sure that he looks tanned and old, so I'm dipping back into my contour cream paints and doing forehead lines. This is really gonna help when he gives his evil looks and stares. Now getting some adhesive, this is Telesis, which is really expensive and I was running out during this video with a Q-tip and applying some facial hair that I made. If you do not want to make your own facial hair because it's very tricky and hard, you could totally just paint it on. But I made my own out of crepe wool and I also made crepe wool eyebrows, which are big and huge and arched just like Jafar's. They are one of the most perfect male villain eyebrows I've ever made. And I ran out of Telsis, so I'm gonna apply that using some Prosade. It looks like I'm applying it with bird poo or something. This is why we wanna get rid of our natural eyebrows because Jafar has eyebrows that are like villain male goals. They go high above and beyond my natural eyebrows. Getting that purpley brown tone eyeshadow and darkening in our eyeshadow above our brow bone since his eyebrows are so high. Even getting more of that alcohol paint and doing some more colors under our eyes to make our eyes look more deeper and sunken in and old and hollow. Now it's time to get more prose with a Q-tip and we are laying down the lines on our upper lip where we are gonna put facial hair that connects his beard to his mustache. We are creating that very thin pin straight mustache that Jafar has that's attached to his magnificent curly beard. This is very difficult to do. I have not freeform laid mustache hairs like this before, so I thought this would be a great chance to try it. And it's very difficult, like I said, but if you try your hardest, get some very clean, nice scissors, but do not cut yourself. If you do not want to do this, you could totally just paint on the mustache hairs because it's a lot more safer and it's a lot more easier than this is. Having mustache hairs this close to your mouth where it's not close to where your eyesight is could be dangerous if you do not have a big clean mirror in front of you. And overall, this is like level, almost expert mode of makeup effects, but it was so fun to learn something new and try it out for a video. And once you have it all lined up and cut, you have to make these hairs so tiny and precise, you could Wait till it dries and get more black cream paint with that very thin brush like we did on our brows and fill in marks to make this mustache hairs more perfect and precise. He's starting to look like one of the Mario Brothers or Waluigi from the Mario Brothers series, which I absolutely love. 
You want to cut the excess hairs with some very tiny cuticle scissors. Getting some brownish red tone cream paint that's almost like terracotta to color in his lip color. Getting a black coal eyeliner pencil that's safe for your waterline and coloring in the waterline very pitch black and then continuing to do a winged liner. Yes, Jafar is fancy, fabulous, and has winged liner. I swear to you, Jasmine and Jafar have some of the best winged eyeliner looks in any Disney movie possible. Jafar's eyeliner look isn't so cat eye and feminine. It's more dark and mysterious. You do not have to go as extreme as Jasmine's, but it's definitely there to define his eyes, to make him probably look more mysterious and evil so you can see all of his eye expressions with his giant brows. And once you're done with your eyeliner look, it is time to put on Jafar's hat. Now, so lucky I found this whole outfit. I think it was on eBay. I'll put the link down below because I also got Jafar's amazing mystical staff. And with that, we are totally finished with this makeup transformation of Jafar. If you want to stick around for the second part of his slight transformation into the Red Genie, as he's casting magical powers with his sorcery from the movie and hypnotizing Jasmine's father during the movie. He's so evil and villainous. I love how this turned out. And I hope you guys did too. It's so much fun being villainous and laughing with this crazy big nose and all this facial hair. You can play with this awesome beard. Doing this facial hair was just so much fun. And you can stick around for the second part where we're gonna prep for that by taking off some of the eye makeup on the side of your face where your dominant painting hand is. Once some of that makeup is taken off, we're gonna get some red cream paint. This is just a bit and I red cream paint color. And we're gonna paint on shapes that look like red smoke to be exact, just like how the red genie in Aladdin appears after he gets his powers. I actually made a mistake and did a little bit of black paint, got it in the red, but we're gonna use that as shadow of a darker red above the eye. It's kind of like the red smoke is appearing and the red genie is coming through a little bit as he's transforming part of his face into the genie itself. Getting some white cream paint to do some highlight marks of the smoke. You want to get some pictures that resemble smoke as reference for this because they have a lot of organic squiggly lines almost looking like fire on the face. Get it on your bottom of your chin line and on your neck a little bit. And after painting on smoke on that part of the eye, this is optional, but you could get a yellow contact lens and pop that in there because the Red Genie from Aladdin definitely has a yellow eyeball that's completely yellow. And with that, we are totally finished with our creepy Jafar makeup of him slightly transforming into the Red Genie from Aladdin. He's so evil in the movie, but I love seeing all his powers and the capabilities he has with all of his three wishes when he goes crazy to town to try to take over the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and sadly, it is time for me to transform back into my female self. I don't know why, but male makeups are always my favorite, and this one was especially fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this channel as always. Subscribe for more makeup transformations and to continue on with our series of our Disney villains and many more awesome makeups to come. I will put down every single item I use in this video down in the description box below. If you guys wanna make this makeup without all the prosthetics and facial hair, cause girl, that's difficult. You can still do the makeup and post it on Instagram and tag me hashtag catsketch. You can follow me there, Twitter, Facebook, I am everywhere, come stalk me. I love you creators so much. Leave me a comment down below on what is some other makeup transformations you would love to see me do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Love you all. Bye.